What's happening team? Today, I wanna to talk to you about how often you should weigh yourself. Now, there is no one size fits all approach in this. That's why we're talking about it, which is what all of these masterclasses are, are about. There's no one size fits all, but there are ways in which we can make it fit ourselves. So for yourself, if there is a mental block or a mental stigma around you weighing yourself, I don't recommend doing uh, weighing yourself every single day because more data points could have a more psychological impact on you and we don't want that. So if you want to weigh yourself every week, that's fine. If you want to weigh yourself every two weeks, that's fine. If you want to, as we've talked about in, in other nutrition guidance videos, check the, the waistline of your clothes, check how things are fitting rather than weighing yourself. Um, that's just another alternative to physically weighing yourself. But if you like that data, if it's not going to mentally, you know, uh, cause you any uh, self-esteem issues, then I would encourage you, yeah, every day, because what's going to happen, fat loss is linear. Fat loss just, it's like this. Weight loss does this. We fluctuate, okay? So one day you may go up two pounds and then the next day you may drop three. It's really, our bodies are fascinating. And one day you might be retaining more water. You might have more sodium on your body. Um, you may have had a big meal or maybe you're dehydrated. Who knows all of the things that are going on? You're not always analyzing yourself every single second of every day. So for yourself, if it's oh, if you're okay with it, again, this is your life. If you are okay with it, weigh yourself every day because what you'll find at also weigh yourself at the same time every day. Our weight will fluctuate throughout the day. I've gone, I, I've gained 13 pounds in a day and lost 13 pounds the next day. It's been weird. Bodies are weird, right? So, but at the same time, every day, um, whether that's, you know, I would recommend first thing in the morning, just because you are the most dehydrated, that is the most accurate representation of your physical weight. So um, with, with that being said, though, if I'm, for instance, I weigh 175 ish pounds. If I would like to get down to like 165 over here, so I want to lose 10 pounds. So if I'm tracking myself every day, that would take, that's probably a, a 90 day journey, especially if I want to do it sustainably. Um, but 175, then maybe 175, 174, 174, 175, 173. It's going to do this, but if I only measure on, let's just say I only measure every week and my body has lost weight, but on the day that I measure, I bumped up, then it seems like I'm not doing anything right. And it seems like, oh, this isn't working because my data points are the exact same. Even though in here, in this section here, I've actually lost weight and I bumped up. And then the next day, what tends to happen is you drop. Um, and so that's why if you are mentally okay with weighing yourself every day at the same time, great, do that. Collect more data points. Because remember, the scale only demonstrates your physical gravitational pull on the earth. It has no say over how valuable you are or how much uh, you are worth in this life. So as long as you don't have any of that stuff going on, yeah, weigh yourself every day. If you do have some of that stuff going on, as I have had many times in the past, don't weigh yourself every day. Do it every three days or every five days or every week. Whatever is going to allow you to see that progress and know that it's a downward trend, but also without overdoing it on yourself. The scale is the scale. And as I've stated before, I don't think people would really care how much they physically weigh if they moved well, felt good and lived better and were comfortable with the way that their body looks. Yeah. So when we can start reshaping that and reframing it, and we talk about this a little bit in the mental health masterclass, when we can really start thinking about, okay, Hey, I want to be more focused on like how I feel, not the objective qualifiers of my physical appearance. Um, and when we can really just take weight out of the equation and just know like, Oh, let me just, let me get more comfortable in my body. And yeah, for some of us, that means working out more. Some of us, that's 
eating more nutritious foods. Some of us, it's just having healthier conversations with ourselves in the mirror, right? So for weighing yourself, you can do it every day or every week, two weeks, three, one month. It's just data at the end of the day because you, you're priceless. Hey there, I'm Tyler Buckingham, creator of the Bucking Fit Life Masterclass Series, and I want to invite you to head to the link below, not only just to get a free mini workbook where you get the tastings of what you can expect inside of the Masterclass Series, but also if you go through that, not only will you radically improve your life, but then I want to invite you to join the Bucking Fit Life and join myself in a community of experts where we help you live healthier, more sustainable lives because health shouldn't be so difficult. And we're here to show you how it's not. We'll see you on the inside.